2010 Toyota Tundra and today we are working on taking off the colder intake, intake manifold and fuel injectors. Also we can access the sending unit back there for the air system because one of the valves is stuck open. So, causing the vehicle to run rough. Now, this is a very labor intensive job. So I've got a long road ahead of me, but air check valve, Dorman 911-643. So, I'm going to get this started, and along the way, show you pictures, possibly take some video, but right now, I've only got two hands and one holding a phone. So, I'll stay tuned. Well, as you can see, the intake manifold is removed with the fuel injector rails in place the only thing i did was disconnect the lines tuck them off to the side over here and down here and now i have removed the tubes for the air injection pump and we're going to remove the egr pipes on the right side and left side then should be able to remove the valves stick the new ones in clean all of these runners up which I'm about to do here before I do that to prevent any of this trash from falling in and then put everything back in order to clean up I have a Milwaukee M12. Actually, 18, correction. Shop back. Flip the lid. We have some connectors. And your battery connects right in here. Still got some juice. Well, I also decided to pick up the camera switch right air tip poses this is the unboxing it comes with this awesome zip up case inside one two three five hoses with a little connector so I'm about to hook this up to the shop bag clean up the engine where the intake sits and see how it works got the push lock in place with the quarter inch hose we'll flip this so hot just suck it
So apparently the hoses will reduce it too much and just doesn't allow enough suction. So I'll remove those hoses off. So currently the three eighths and quarter inch hose, well, they're not working out that great. So maybe the other three will, but as you can see, I already got it cleaned up. Now all I've got to do is spray it down with some brake line, wipe everything up, and then I'll be ready to install the intake manifold on after I get those filled valves out. I'll stay tuned. And everything is back together. All that's left to do is the finishing touch. Grab the engine cover here. And slot it on to bracket in the back. Press lock it into place. And now it's time to crank the truck up. Let's see the check engine light as it went away. Stay tuned. We're about to crank it. All right. Now, since I disconnected the fuel rail, I will have to prime the fuel rail. So all I'm doing is turning the key back and forth for at least uh, five times. I should pressurize the fuel rail and then I'll be able to crank it. Not enough fuel pressure. There we go. Still have the maintenance required over in the bottom right corner. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the check engine light. So, I will grab my scanner here momentarily and pull the codes to see if there is any. And if it still shows the same one, well, we know that's false. And I'll reset the code and see if it comes back up. Give me a moment and I'll grab my scanner. Okay, so now that I've got the scanner back up, 
Air injection is complete. Please escape the view pending DTC. Still not allowing me to erase it, and now the check engine light is actually flashing where it was not beforehand. <laughs> 